Arizot app is drawing pictures of graphs. It's a great way to make pictures for web pages, documentation, and for presentations. So let's have a quick look at a quick example. Click to make a node, hover outside, and drag to make relationships. They're a guide to keep them in place, and they stay connected. But for the moment, let's go back by undoing and double click to type Tom Hanks. Press enter is another alternative and type cloud atlas. The relationship type is acted in, but the nodes are a bit close together, so we'll move them apart. Now we'll choose a theme. Here we chose the bloom theme, which looks a little bit nicer than the default theme. And we make another node. This is Hugo weaving. Relationship is the wrong way around, but there's a button to reverse it. We put the acted in relationship type and line up the node to make it look nice. Time for another node. It's another movie. It's called The Matrix. Now these movies are connected via Lana Wachowski. Type in the name. Let's just line that up to look nice. Uh, we need to reverse these relationships. There's a directed relationship here and acted in on the left hand side. Now this is looking good enough to share, so let's give it a name. If we've used Google Drive for storage, we'll find that the, the preview image turns up straight away in Google Drive, which is super nice. Uh, let's have a look at what we can do with the images. So we press the export button, we can drag to any drawing program, in this case, Google, Google Slides. Uh, the SVG is even more powerful, so here we're dragging the SVG over to Sketch. If we ungroup, we'll find that each of the individual elements are editable. Back in arrows, and now I'm gonna select, uh, scroll around a bit, and then I'm gonna select the movie nodes, give them a different color so that they stand out. But that's not really how it works in Neo4j. You can't store colors directly, so instead we use labels to distinguish different types of node. So I selected all the people and given the person label, now let's do the same for the movies. They get the movie label. We can even have multiple labels per node, just like you can in Neo4j. So the actors get the actor label and the director gets a director label. Now let's think about these captions. They're not really part of the graph model. They're very convenient, but let's turn them into properties instead. So here we've got the name and the title properties. What we see now is that if we go to Cypher, we get all those properties embedded in the Cypher. So it's a really nice way, a really quick way to create a graph in the FJ. Another thing I can do is to resize. I can scale the graph so it looks nice uh, where I'm aiming to put it. And one, fi one final trick is that I can click on the relationships to select just the relationships so that I can change them all together or if I want to, get rid of all the relationships. So to recap, Aristotle app can make PNG, SVG, or Cypher, and that's great for presentations, for docs, or for creating a new for day database. Hope you enjoy using it.